So our relationship with Clemson is actually very strong. When we first came here, we had our practice and Clemson was really not around, but now they've moved into our building here on the fourth floor. They got the tissue engineering research, the biomechanical research, and it's a very big endeavor now. So we just walk up a couple of floors and we can pursue these research programs. At QBank, the Clemson University Biomedical Engineering Innovation Campus, we conduct primarily orthopedics research. The bioengineering department and the Clemson University doesn't have a medical campus. So we can conduct orthopedics research down here at the Greenville Health System. It really does enhance our research mission. Having the clinicians bring actual problems to our labs, it gives us the sense that we are solving real world problems. We aren't just creating medical devices that then need to find a need, we're actually solving a real world clinical unmet need. And having the clinicians bring that at the forefront of a research project, um, I think that that helps the mission and the purpose for the research move faster because we're all driving towards fulfilling the same goal, which is actually a real clinical problem. The programs we have going with Clemson are biomechanical in nature and or tissue engineering in nature. One of the really exciting things that, that I just love is looking at stem cells. So we have a PhD, a couple of them, actually working on stem cells all the time. And it's really going to be an exciting aspect of our orthopedic treatment in the future. Uh, and biomechanically, we're always looking at problems of our total shoulders and reverse shoulders to figure out how they work and how we can make them better and what the problems are with them through our biomechanical lab. What would be the next step in that? We do also have an association with uh, what's called a design team. So we get four students or senior graduating students in the engineering program that are assigned to us or we volunteer to be with them and their charge is develop, a, a, come up with an idea, develop a product that might be something to improve in orthopedics, uh, get a prototype for it, test it, get lots of opinions about it and then actually patent it and take it commercially. So what we're doing with this fundraiser is to try to raise money through a golf tournament, which is really a fun tournament. It's called Color Ball and it's tremendous. We had, I don't know how many teams last year, maybe 30, and five members in the team, and they have a lot of fun with the whole thing, and they all pay a certain amount to do that. We take the proceeds or the um, money we gain from that, and we support a Clemson master's or PhD student, or more if we get more funding. And those students are directly involved in the projects that we do as Stedman Hawkins and our research foundation with Clemson. We currently fund our research using grants and industry collaborations, but money that is generated through fundraisers like the golf tournament really do help us on the cutting edge of research. They allow us to investigate new and novel surgical techniques and design new medical devices, and then go out and really get a lot of money from research grants from industry and government. We are very privileged to be able to be working with the Stedman Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. The work that we're doing is of the highest caliber. We conduct research, we design new implants, and their contributions to our research is second to none. I would wholeheartedly like to thank and sincerely thank the Hawkins Foundation for all of the funding, support, um, and fun that they've provided over my entire career here at Clemson. Um, and they've helped me push through my master's degree and now I'm moving on to my PhD degree and I have the Hawkins Foundation to thank for that.